Hello, today we're going to talk about row level security in Data Studio. We'll see how to filter a report based on who the logged in user is, so users will only see data associated with their account. So let's start with this table in BigQuery. So it only has two columns, um, message and email. So there's two rows that are associated with my email address here, and two rows that are associated with other email addresses. So let's flip back over to Data Studio, and I'm gonna add a new data source here. And we're gonna go down to Custom Query, and I'm gonna paste in select, and we're gonna go down to Enable Email Parameter. And we'll wait a second for that to get active. We're gonna wear clause. We're at a parameter. And I'll click add. And we're going to allow sharing. And we'll add that to the report. All right, so you can see instead of seeing the whole table, I just see the two records that are associated with my email. So uh, I already allowed uh, my email address to be shared with Data Studio, but let's see uh, what happens uh, when I revoke uh, my email address. So if I go back out to the main Data Studio menu, uh, I can click on the cog here, and I'll go down to Revoke Consent, and I'll click Revoke All, and then under our Account and Privacy, I'll click Save. And then let's go back to the report, and I have to refresh the page. And then uh, I get a prompt here to grant consent again. So this is what users will see the first time uh, if they haven't granted uh, consent for Data Studio to access their email address. So if I click Allow, uh, now I'll be able to uh, just see those, those rows that are associated with my email again. So uh, normally this will just be a one-time thing. This will persist uh, until I decide to revoke access again. And if I decide to revoke it, I can always grant it again and it'll, it'll last as, as long as I want it to. So thanks for watching, uh, and if, you're, if you like, please subscribe for more information on Data Studio, Google Analytics, and Google Tag Manager.